Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is August 8th, 2019, and I'm really excited to bring this report to you today. Um, this is just, to me, some of the most fascinating information. It's just amazing what we are seeing here. Okay, we have been talking about, and I'm going to show you something new that uh, just happened yesterday on Jupiter. It, this just happened yesterday on Jupiter. So there's something we are watching. It's very important uh, for us to understand the just the magnitude of the heavenly signs that are before us. And what I'm going to share with you is just so fascinating. Okay, we're we're watching this heavenly sign in the heavens. Yesterday I shared about the battle in the heavenlies, how on uh, August 10th, between August 10th and August 11th, the moon is in the golden gate between Sagittarius and Scorpius. We have Saturn in Sagittarius and Jupiter in Scorpius, and they're battling uh, one, against the, one against the other. And Saturn is in the arrow shooting at Jupiter. And Jupiter represents the man-child and uh, of the Revelation 12 uh, sign. And this is just an amazing uh, situation here. Now, I want to share with you about this, uh, <clears throat> this news report that came out yesterday. Now, I will share in the description box at least two of the uh, articles I found on this but this news came out yesterday Texas amateur detects possible impact on Jupiter August 8th 2019 okay now as I read this you can watch the image that is playing on the screen this is the image that was taken by this amateur this amateur uh, uh, what do you call them, a astrologist or uh, astronomer. And um, this is the video that he, he took of a meteor that came uh, through the lens as he was watching uh, Jupiter. Whether it impacted Jupiter or not, we do not know. This is going to be, we're going to talk about this in the article, but there's a there was a meteor that came into view as he was watching Jupiter. Okay, it looks like Jupiter got slammed again. A bright flash from a possible impact lit up the planet's south equatorial belt Tuesday night. As Texas amateur astronomer Ethan Chappell looked up at the sky for Perseid meteor, meteors on Wednesday night, August 7th, Little did he know his Celestron 8 telescope was capturing the possible impact of a much larger meteor at Jupiter. After running the camera data through a program designed to alert the user to just such transient events, Chapel spotted a flash of light in the, in the planet's south equatorial belt. It expanded from a pinpoint to a small dot before fading away. Telltale signs of a possible impact based on previous events observed at Jupiter. So you can't really tell exactly what ends up happening with that meteor, but based on previous events that have been observed, this is a possible impact event. Since this video of the impact flash was compiled from raw images made with the Celestron 8 C8 Edge H HD and ZWO camera. The impact flash appears at far left within the southern edge of the ESB. The great red spot is visible at night and north is up. So if you are looking at the planet with color, on the right, you see the, the big red spot, and then you have the, uh, the flash of light that came, the moment of impact uh, that came. 
and uh, and and the spot of the impact. Now, there's another very important detail within this article I want to share with you. Uh, just one minute here, please. Okay, I want to go on and I want to read to you this next uh, paragraph. And this is the most fascinating thing that I can find within this, uh, just the history of Jupiter impacts um, and the, the sequence of impacts that have taken place. Okay, let's read this together and I'm going to explain to you what I see and how this is connected to the, the great sign of Revelation chapter 12. If confirmed, this would be the seventh recorded impact at the solar system's biggest planet since July of 1994, when 21 fragrance, fragments of Comet Shoemaker Levi 9 slam into the planet in succession to create a rosary of dark impact boils visible in amateur telescopes. That event remains the single most impressive astronomical sight of my life. Additional crashes by either asteroids or comets were observed in 2009. In 2010, there were two events, 2016, and in 2017. Okay, let's go over the seven recorded impacts that have taken place upon Jupiter since 1994. Let me talk you through what I am seeing with the sequence of impacts that have taken place on Jupiter since 1994. Okay, first and foremost, Jupiter is front and center in the Revelation 12 sign. Jupiter is the man-child that was in Virgo for 10 months this is the baby that was being born two years ago. In my previous message, I shared about the history of the, the, Mag, the Magi when they found the star, went to Bethlehem, found the manger, and Herod wanted to supposedly go and worship the king. And instead of uh, uh, getting a report back from the Magi, they went home on another, on another route did not go back to uh, give the word to Herod. And then Herod went out to kill all the babies that were two years old and younger. So we have a two-year sequence of events within the birth of Jesus Christ and the, and, the, uh, and the event that connected to Saturn as the one who devours the children. Okay, it took place two years later, the devouring event two years and younger, so we have a two-year window on the death of the children surrounding uh, the, the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay, so Jupiter is a key uh, sign in the heavens. This was confirmed by the Revelation 12 sign. Now, within Jupiter, we have seven recorded impacts since July of 1994. Now, 1994... Okay, if we're looking at the coming of the Antichrist, then 1994, Barack Obama was nearly 33 years old. 1994 from 1961, Barack Obama was nearly 33 years old. Then the event remained, the, the, uh, the additional crashes that took place that have been recorded on to Jupiter have been, there's one in 2009, two in 2010, and then 2006, 2017. So we have, we have one in 1994, one in 2009, two in 2010, that makes four, one in 2016, that makes five, one in 2017, that makes six, and this is the seventh one that has just happened yesterday. This is uh, quite amazing that just yesterday I'm talking about, and I shared with you the sign in the heaven of Saturn being shot out of 
the arrow of Sagittarius shooting at Jupiter. And just as I am speaking, <laughs> yesterday, August 7th, Jupiter gets hit with a meteor. Okay, so for him who has eyes to see and ears to hear, okay, because God is definitely showing us something very major taking place. These are this is another portion of all the signs that God is giving us. Okay, so July 1994, Barack Obama is going on 33 years old. And then there was not another another uh, uh, impact recorded until 2009. Now, what, what happened in 2009? Well, Barack Obama became president in 2009, and he also received the Nobel Peace Prize. Then in 2010, signature uh, bill, the signature law of Barack Obama's presidency, the Obamacare health bill, 2010. There were two events on Jupiter, punctuation mark. You want a sign? 2010 is your sign. Obamacare health uh, law with the RFID chip within, the, uh, within it. The one who brings the, the mark of the beast is the one who is the Antichrist. The number of his name, Obamacare. Then you have an event in 2016. What happened in 2016? It was the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign on November 17th when Jupiter was just entering Virgo. 2016 was the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign. And the end of the Revelation 12 sign was 2017. And so we have two more events. And now, just as we're watching, August 11th, the 9th of Av, connected from November 17th, 2016, uh, the, the, the birth event the, 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 where the insemination took place of, of the Revelation 12 sign, a thousand days brings us Exactly, a thousand days to August 11th. A thousand in the, in the Greek strongs is the number for egg. Insemination of the egg, a thousand days from November 17th, 2016 to August 11th, 2019. Well, anyway, this is all connected to Jupiter. It's all connected to this amazing uh, sign of the seven impa impacts on Jupiter since 1994. And look at the, the storyline. 33 years old, Barack Obama. Then we've got all the signature events that took place from his presidency, the Nobel Peace Prize, Obamacare, the Revelation 12 sign. And both of the years, there was impacts on Jupiter. And now another one, just three days. Now, does this does this represent does this represent the death of the man child because you have a piercing in the side three day difference between the the ninth of Av between august 10 and 11 we have a three day difference so maybe this is the last sign within jupiter it's the piercing of the side and now is the time for the antichrist to come forth. I can't share with you enough how exciting this information is. Uh, this is so fascinating, unbelievably fascinating to me. And uh, it's just more than anything, yesterday as I was sharing about the battle in the heavens, Saturn being shot out of the arrow of Sagittarius, shooting at Jupiter and exactly at the, one moment please. So I, I just want to, uh, I, I just, I'm just so excited and amazed and thankful to God that all of these things are coming together, that uh, these amazing signs are taking place and they're taking place when they're supposed to take place. The times that we're watching, the times that, even just yesterday, talking about this battle in the heavens, 
and and Saturn shooting at Jupiter and a meteor being filmed exactly yesterday. There are multiple reports of this uh, this news item. I will share links with you. These these are things that are happening in the world. We're not making anything up to try to uh, make people believe what we're trying to to share. We're just sharing what is ha what is really happening, and these are the things that are happening. So, Jupiter is the man child, the Revelation twelve sign. We wondered why nothing happened in September of two thousand seventeen. And now we have a bigger story that we're coming to see, and it's all tied in with the birth of Jesus Christ, the two years that Herod uh, sent out the order to kill all the babies two years old and younger. I think it's all significant and all biblically and prophetically connected to the second coming of Jesus Christ. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.